dear viewers welcome to engineering mechanics hello everyone welcome to today video where we will solve the problem of beam how to calculate the reaction force in a fixed beam with the tool support and pine loads to understand how to balance the force and moment in a fixed beam let enter into the field of engineering mechanics in engineering mechanics various type of support and reaction are essential concept when analysis the equilibrium of structures and determine how forces are transmitted through different component here are common type of supports and reaction first support hinge support or pinned support a hinge allow the rotation but prevent the rotation in any direction reaction for in hinge support generate the both horizontal and vertical reaction it does not generate any moment reaction fixed support restrain both translation and rotation the reaction for fixed support generate the horizontal and vertical moment reactions roller support a roller support allow the translation along the surface it support but prevent the rotation reaction a roller support generate only vertical reaction only understanding the support types and reaction they generate is crucial for solving problem related to static equilibrium structural analysis and the design of various engineering structures engineering engineers use the principle to ensure the structure are stable shape and capable of withstanding the force to which they may be subjected to calculate the reaction force or fixed beam with a point load acting on it you can use the principle of equilibrium the fixed support restrain both translate translation and rotation here the step by step procedure is first step draw the free body diagram second step determine the reaction at the fixed support the third step apply the equilibrium condition sum of the force in vertical direction equal to 0 sum of the forces in horizontal direction equal to 0 sum of the moment about the support equal to 0 solve for reaction solve the system of equation to find the reaction in vertical horizontal and moment check for equilibrium also fifth step ensure that the structure is in static equilibrium by verifying that sum of the force sum of the moment are both equal to 0 considering the problem the 450 kg uniform i beam support the load shown in the figure determine the reaction at the support the problem is the total span is 5.6 plus 2.4 meter equal totally total length of the beam is 8 meter the problem so the two support the a support is hinged support the b support is roller support the first step we have to draw the free body diagram the free body diagram a free body diagram is a visual represent used in engineering mechanics to analyze and solve the problem related to the equilibrium of rigid bodies it isolate the particular body or a segment of structure 
and illustrate the all the external force acting on it here are the steps to draw the free body diagram identify the body clearly define the object or segment of the structure that you want analysis this would be whole structure or specific part of of it isolate the body draw the simple outline sketch isolate body separating it from the surrounding environment identify the external force and label all the external force acting on the body external force can include applied the loads support reaction frictional forces and any other forces acting on the body force vector draw the arrows to represent the direction of the each force label each arrow with the type of force and its magnitude the length of the arrow is often proportional to the magnitude of the force coordinate system establish the coordinate system to help in the analysis type typically a cartesian coordinate system used with x and y axis indicate the dimension if the relevant include the dimension and the angle that are necessary for force or moment calculation reaction force if the body is connected to other structures indicate reaction force and the moment at the point of contact support the figure the hinged support to reaction one is vertical force in y direction another force is acting towards to the horizontal force the roller support have only one reaction it is perpendicular to the support it is a vertical direction so sign convection we are using in this problem in upward direction is positive the downward direction is negative then horizontal forces is the left to right is positive then right to left direction is negative the moment is considering the clockwise negative anti clockwise direction moment is positive from the free body diagram apply the equilibrium condition sum of the force in x direction is zero in x direction only at no at point a f a x equal to zero the next apply the sum of the force moment about at particular point a pivot point is a so considering this considering 450 into 9.1 newton is this will be clockwise direction moment so the moment is force into perpendicular distance 450 into 9.1 into 4 so negative then then another force is 220 into 9.1 it will act 4 plus 1 uh, plus 1.6 5.6 meter distance so perpendicular distance this also will be creating a clockwise moment so minus 220 into 9.81 into 5.6 plus the moment at p is the total distance of the 4 plus 1.6 plus 2 point total 8 this will be the force at p vertical force creating a anti clockwise moment that's why that positive sign will come plus 
force into perpendicular distance force by into 8 equal to 0 solving this equation we can obtain the value of reaction force at uh, roller support is 3780 newton similarly apply the sum of the forces at sum of the forces in vertical direction equal to 0 the vertical direction the first considering f a y is upward direction positive sign so f a y then minus it is a my 450 into 9 point downward direction that's why put the negative sign negative minus 450 into 9.81 then another force also 220 into 9.81 negative then already we evaluate the force upward force reaction force is f b y is 3718 we round off 3720 equal to 0 from this equation we can obtain the reaction force at point a f a y 2852 newton thank you for watching my video